what's up. So, in one of my previous videos, you saw me uh, install a uh, Bully Dog GT system, and I wanted to actually install an analog input here for my. Uh, I'm not going to do my fuel pressure after all, but this is the exact same sensor. I'm going to be doing the uh, the coolant pressure. I want to know if I have a blown head gasket or whatever, if I'm going crazy or something. Uh, you know, if I'm putting up, you know, there's a couple different ways this thing will pop off and vent. It's either if you have a blown head gasket or if your 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 car is running too hot, or if you flash boil your uh, EGR cooler. So that's actually what I wanted to kind of determine there. So um, I, I originally had this thing in there. Um, this is a regular style analog gauge, and it was actually directly connected to my coolant here, but. I bought this on Amazon. It's, like, it's made by Glow Shift. I'll put a link where you can get that. But it's a uh, so I wanted to do electronic and have it go into my uh, Bully Dog GT fast. And there's a couple analog inputs, so I want to be able to see that my uh, coolant pressure from that gauge right there. And I already installed it here, but there's a couple analog inputs. That right there is my EGT sensor. But this right here, I'm actually going to make a like a wire here connector so I'm actually gonna solder together some wires and, and make a make a connector. I need, I need to extend the length but I'll show you that. Yeah one of the issues with this has always worried about is because I mean this is basically scalding water and, and like the fact that it was going into my uh, cabin inside the truck. So um, a couple a couple times I've gone up to Big Bear and I've got my oil temp up to like 230 degrees where the actual fan was kicking on and uh, so I was always a little bit worried. I mean, I didn't think it was ever going to happen, but, you know, that'd be the worst. You know, you're on a mountainous road, and then all of a sudden you have scalding hot water on your lap. Or, you know, shooting in your face. So, um, all right, I do actually like the idea of it's a lot safer to have the electronic style. So, all right. All right, so I want to extend this clip right here. So, I went to the electronic store, got some wire. 26 gauge, I got uh, black, green, and red. Uh, Match was already on there. So I'm going to solder and shrink wrap everything and use a sleeve here. And this, um, I've already actually cut a piece of twine for the length of the wire that I need. So I already ran the twine through the firewall. So, alright, get it going. I'll be done with the harness. We'll get it plugged in. Pretty simple. Alright, there it is. Shrink wrapped. That's the end. That's going to be the negative ground on the red right here. And the five, uh, the red is the five volt plus, and that's a signal return. So, get it going. Yeah, another thing. Let me show you this real fast. With this bully dog there, their manual was really, really. This can be like a five volt out, and it can also be like a like a trigger out. It's weird. They're not really specific in the manual. It's kind of hard to read. So I hooked up my multimeter, and there actually is a five volt out. And. That's kind of an issue in some Ford trucks or for Ford cars is that a lot of their sensors, at least with the 5.0s, they actually ran a 12 volt, 12 volt uh, to activate the sensor. And uh, a lot of the GM stuff was like 5 volts. So I don't know if they've changed in the newer Fords, but you know, I wanted to, I didn't want to have to tap into some other kind of sensor, but so it is providing 5 volts out. So that's a good thing. So it should be pretty straightforward. It's got to fish the wires to the cab. That's it. Yeah. So it just feeds down into the cab and that's it. So, awesome. Alright, there it is. So the, the red is the 5 volt. The green is the signal return on the analog 2 plus. And then the ground goes right here. So, alright, we'll get this going and see what happens. Alright, so I already have it set up as aux 2 right there. But uh, I could go through here and I could change it. And our user preferences, it's under a sensor setting right there. So, I'd already set this up previously. So you gotta set the low which is 0.5, that should be at zero. And then set the high. I know 4.5 would be the full 30 PSI. And then the low is zero and but it's 30. So this is a 30 max PSI sensor. So, cool, that's about it, guys. Fire it up and see what happens. All right, there you go. It's, uh, it's kind of going off of zero and one just because this thing's not heated up yet, so. Once you actually heat the car up, it should build some pressure up. But that's it, guys. Same concept to be. Uh, should be the same concept with the uh, if you just had like a regular, like standard, like electric gauge or something like that, like this. Same thing. But I'll put a link where you can get that little adapter piece. And uh, if you want to 
do a center. I'll put a center link too, but uh, cool. And yeah, and I'm not worried about uh, my thing blowing up in my face anymore, so. All right, cool.